please welcome to the stage, Dr. Tom Kazier. Good afternoon. I'm Tom Kazier, Program Manager in the Microsystems Technology Office, and I'd like to share with you today some of the work uh, that we're doing under a program called the Domain System, Domain Specific System on a Chip. Um, what is this all about? Uh, with silica, advances in silicon technology, we can put millions, if not billions, of transistors on a single piece of silicon. That allows us to put more and more functionality on a, on a, single, uh, a single chip, uh, creating more and more capabilities. And we can put all sorts of different compute functions, including CPUs, GPUs, memory, uh, accelerated on a single, single chip, which we're going to call a system on a chip. And in fact, you're walking around with products that have systems on a chip in them. Uh, the smartphone, uh, Fitbit tracker, or fitness tracker, and even, uh, even the car that you drive has systems on, it, on a chip. Uh, and with the advances in silicon technology, these are becoming increasingly complex and increasingly more, uh, more capable. Uh, if we begin dividing this, uh, we're also expecting these chips to, become, to do more and more functions simultaneously at the same time. So operating lots of different applications simultaneously within a given domain. And I'll explain that in a, in a little bit. So there's a lot of challenges with this as these chips become more and more complex. The time to develop them is, in, is becoming uh, increasingly longer, which means the time to market for new chips, new capabilities becoming longer. So what we want to do or doing under the, the DSSOC program is looking at how we not only improve the performance of these systems on a chips, but improve the productivity. And by productivity, is can we can we accelerate the design and development of these new systems on a chip uh, and also be able to rapidly modify them uh, to add new applications uh, um, as, as they develop? And so it's all about time to market for new capabilities. And what I'd like to now share with you is a video that was put together by one of our performers on this program to show how this is being applied to the autonomous vehicle domain. And if we could roll the, the video. led Epoch's project focuses on the agile design of systems on a chip for connected autonomous vehicles while addressing two critical goals, mitigation of electronic designs skyrocketing cost and innovation acceleration in AI hardware to make decisions at the edge faster. As automotive software is expected to become increasingly complex over the upcoming few years, it is imperative to design new systems on a chip, or SOCs, in an agile manner while maintaining programmability, which our Epoch's design methodology and software stack enable. The Epoch's methodology starts with an application from a specific domain and goes all the way down to the actual SOC design and implementation. It enables agile design of new SOCs with 10 to 100 times reduction in person years while catering to the programmability requirements of future SOCs through our innovative software stack which includes the HPVN compiler and a smart scheduler. Check out our 2021 demo if you want to learn more about our Epoch's Agile Design methodology. The future of mobility requires efficient computation support for a variety of disparate functionalities within a vehicle. In this video, we demonstrate how our Epoch's SOC and software stack quickly design with our Agile Flow methodology can support multiple tasks while sustaining the real-time and efficiency requirements of connected autonomous cars. Specifically, we focus on two use cases, cooperative perception and natural language processing in future cars. The cooperative perception demo shows our ERA application running on multiple cars interacting on the road via vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications. We demonstrate the benefits of real-time constraint cooperative perception and decision-making using our Epoch's SOC and software stack. The natural language processing demo shows the use of our Epoch's SOC with a specific NLP acceleration support to conduct real-time sentiment analysis of the vehicle occupants. This can engage proactive safety mechanisms when specific behavioral patterns are detected in car drivers. Latest generation cars make use of multiple sensors to interpret the environment. However, this single car approach can generate false predictions regardless of how much sensing capabilities are deployed on the vehicle. 
Cooperative perception, on the other hand, constitutes an alternative approach that allows vehicles to interact with each other to significantly improve their driving capabilities. In this demo, we demonstrate the benefits of real-time constrained cooperative perception using our Epoch system on a chip and software stack. Our testbed includes two instances of our Epoch appliance deployed on two different FPGA boards. Each appliance is equipped with complete software stack of the ERA application, compiler and a smart scheduler running on FPGA emulation of the system on the chip with accelerators like Fast Fourier Transform and Viterbi Decoding, among others. We use a car simulator called Carla to model two autonomous cars driving around a simulated real-world scenario. The two simulated cars communicate to the FPGAs through sockets. Each car's LiDAR data is passed to the FPGA to create local occupancy maps of the surroundings of the vehicle. The cars then exchange their occupancy maps through a set of socket connections using vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication transceivers. Once the remote map is received and decoded, it is fused with the local map. The resulting fused map is then processed to decipher obstacles, which may be obstructed, and to generate proper control commands that can improve the safety conditions. The control commands are then sent back to the car simulator. To showcase the benefits of the Epoch appliance for connected autonomous vehicles, we construct a scenario using the Carla simulator where a car approaches a pedestrian crossing the street. However, the car's view is obstructed by a parked truck preventing it from seeing the pedestrian. Another car is also at the intersection with a perpendicular line of sight. This second car will be eventually leveraged to enable cooperative perception between the vehicles. Using this setup, we evaluate two scenarios. Our baseline scenario A relies solely on the onboard sensors of the car. There is no cooperation between vehicles in this case. In scenario B, we leverage our Epoch technology to enable cooperative perception between cars through vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications and real-time information exchange. In scenario A, the onboard sensors and computation capabilities are not enough to slow down the vehicle on time. This causes a pedestrian near-hit situation. When we enable cooperative perception powered by our Epoch technology, the car receives occupancy maps from the remote car that allow it to detect the pedestrian and slow down on time to avoid the near collision situation. Natural Language Processing, or NLP, is a subdiscipline of AI that helps machines understand, interpret, and generate the language of humans. Sentiment analysis is a subfield of NLP that identifies the orientation of attitudes, emotions, or opinions conveying text. When combined with things like drowsiness recognition and collision alert, it has the potential to save lives. In this demo, we demonstrate transformer-based NLP model for sentiment analysis and show the performance improvement using our Epoch SOC with HBERT, a specialized NLP accelerator. To perform sentiment analysis, we use ALBERT, a lightweight NLP model for mobile and edge applications. ALBERT is fine-tuned using the open-source GLUE dataset, producing a 91% accuracy in the sentiment analysis benchmark. Let's see a demo of this application. Sentiment analysis workloads are computed in a custom-built hardware accelerator named HBERT for energy-efficient inference. HBERT contains special features that promote energy efficiency, such as early exit, sparse execution, and sentence-level dynamic voltage and frequency scaling. We build a 2x2 SOC with one HBERT, a RIX-5 CPU, cache memory, and I.O. Then we implement the SOC targeting an FPGA. We run a transformer encoder with 12 attention heads and a feedforward network on the HBear FPGA SOC. Overall, our HBear is 74 times faster than the RISC-V CPU on the same FPGA. By enabling the early exit optimization, HBear can further reduce more than 60% of computation time while running a sequence of transformer encoders. This benefits corresponds to the FPGA version of the SOC and can be further improved by up to six times by using the final application-specific integrated circuit, or ASIC. Agile software-hardware co-design is the key to creating programmer-friendly, domain-specific system-on-a-chip solutions, but not just for connected autonomous cars. As a result of these virtues, 
our Epoch Agile Flow methodology can be broadly used across multiple application domains to quickly design solutions that are easy to program and easy to deploy. As an example of one alternative application domain, Epochs is being deployed to aid threat detection functionalities in real-world scenarios. We leverage the computer vision acceleration features of our SOC, augmented with the smart scheduler and advanced compiler, to detect threats and hazards in real time. The Mayflower Autonomous Ship and next-generation combat vehicles are examples where this solution is planned to be used. We hope that you enjoy our demo. If you have any questions or inquiries, please email us at info at epochsproject.com. Thank you. So what I hope we left you with is an example of what we've been doing with the epochs, uh, the DSOC technology, and particularly with the epochs. But that's just one manifestation or example of the, the uh, tools and technology being developed under the DSOC program. We're also applying this to advanced communication systems, on advanced radar, uh, advanced radar and sensor systems, and also uh, even for AI, AI type systems. What I'd like to leave you with is that the technology or tools that we're developing are revolutionizing the design of the high performance SICs or SOCs and dramatically reducing the development and updating time from literally years to uh, months. If you would like to learn more or have any questions, come see me at the break. And thank you for your attention.